What's up, my little tattletales? Listen, I thought this was never going to happen. But listen, when I got to eat my words, I got to eat my words, y'all. Spring some never worry. Spring some never worry has arrived. She, by Sheree, has arisen. You guys, at this, listen. First of all, I want to say thank you to the Tattletales down in Atlanta, y'all. She by Sheree's fashion show is going on right now at this mini at this very moment. And y'all, let me tell you that Tattletales are in there and y'all are in there deep. Y'all are squat deep. My notifications was like ping, 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 ping. Yo, y'all was squat deep down there. That place is packed. Is packed. Let me tell y'all, the final scene for Real Housewives of Atlanta is going on. Let me tell you what all my title tells are reporting. First of all, the event, the event is packed. And the title tells, I had no idea I was so popular in Atlanta. If you were from Atlanta and watching this, yo, drop drop your numbers, drop your digits, drop your abbies. Let me know that you're from Atlanta. I had no idea y'all watched me so much down there. But y'all are squat deep in that thing. Cherie's event is packed. To raise event, if you haven't, I'm going to show y'all Instagram stories from Candy and Marlo and everyone else, right? To raise event, everyone's saying is gorgeous. Now, my tattoos are saying the food, right? <laughs> there ain't none because you know, to raise. Back. I guess that was God telling me to shut up. <laughs> Not yet. You ain't take me back to heaven yet. We going to keep talking, right? No, that wasn't God. That was the devil trying to pull my light away. But we are back. So listen, let's start with the thing. The food, you know, it can't be a charade event uh, without something being a little bit off, right? However, all jokes aside, we know that Bravo gives a certain budget. Listen, there wasn't really any food. The food was scarce. That's okay. I'm a food person. I would have been the only person complaining. However, it looked like all the money went into the fashions. Y'all, everybody is saying, all my title tells, it's still going on right now and I'm getting texts. All my title tells are telling me, Sheree, turn that mug out. The fashions were on point. The decorations were on point. All the ladies were there looking good, feeling good. Tanya looked resplendent in this silver thing candy looks so beautiful drew was there and you know what she was sitting next to candy candy you know what let me show y'all the video and then meet me after the jump and i'm gonna give y'all all the details that i know all right Woo! listen like i said i know i've been gone for a minute in these streets uh talking about other stuff but don't think i forgot my notes it's on or my roots it's on when, when candy what is it? Candy, candy and the gang comes on and it's on, on, on with Real Housewives of Atlanta. And you know, we always got Jersey covered because we old school Bravo like that. All right, let's go to these videos and then meet me after the jump so we can discuss. Guess what, y'all? I got my girl Drew here, Kenya, Marlo. And Drew's <laughs> movie is coming on tonight. Woo! You only have 10 minutes. It's coming on at 8 p.m. EST. Online, sisters. Yes, please tune in. Support the movie. Oh, get your mama, time. get your cousins, go get popcorn, and find a cover and cozy up and watch our movie. It's amazing. Oh, it's oh, really good. It's I'm not so just good. saying that because we good friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. Okay, so I'm working, but I still have to do my Black History Month post for a Black-owned business. And guess who I'm showing love to my girl, Kim yes. Moore. Her products are now in CBS. Yes. And I told you, she has a limited edition bottle of her conditioner. It's shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, the shampoo and conditioner is limited edition at CBS. I mean, all the products are great. But I'm telling you now, if you don't get them now, the limited edition bottles, you will never be able to get them again. So I suggest, treat it like a treasure hunt. Go to CBS. Sell those bottles out, y'all. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daddy. I love you. Happy Black History Month. Y'all better be watching my girl movie right now. Hey. <laughs> Live sisters. Yes, baby. Tune in. Please support. Yes, tell everybody about it. Share, do that for my girl, Drew, and for my girl Latoya Luckett, your shit, Ronda, Ronda. They did their thing, y'all. Look at this dude behind me. Kind of cute. <laughs>
eat my words when I have to. Woo! To Tattletales, y'all were in that building. Thank you so much for blowing it up. Listen, Sheree has redeemed herself in the eyes of the producers. And once this hits, everybody Tattletales are saying this is going to redeem Sheree in the eyes of the viewer. Now, listen. Is this mess going to be on She by Sheree? I hope so. Because everybody said the fashions were so good. That all white affair, the white flowers. Sheree outdid herself. Listen, it was a little worrisome. People didn't know what was going to happen because of the Tyrone storyline. Interestingly enough, remember at the end of the video I just showed you when Marlo was like, Tyrone, you want something to drink? No, I'm sorry. Why would I disrespect her by giving Mr. Nobody his voice? No. When she was like, Tyrone, you want something to drink? And Candy was like, stop being ghetto at the thing. And Marla was like, what you? Liquor and fashion go together. And it do. Anything to loosen up those purse strings. Have another shot of Don Julio. You know how those fashion houses do. But I will say this. She did say Tyrone's name. I've been trying to get my tattletales to be like, yo, do you think that is Tyrone? I got like 20 eyes on them right now that everybody's trying to Google what Tyrone looked like. Because I just know Tyrone Bigums, right? From the mug shop. But this isn't the time to drag Sheree because she has redeemed herself. She is not going to be looking stupid at that reunion. And when you think about it, it's actually amazing that in her return, her life has come full circle. She basically left in shame of everybody clowning her for how many years about She by Sheree. And now she has triumphantly delivered the show that was promised. She by Sheree has arisen, if you will. Now, all Sheree got to do is follow through because this is the time. Mama, e-commerce has never been better. All eyes are on you. I want to see Sheree. I want to see Sheree run with this. I want to see Sheree win. And I think she can. Y'all, again, wasn't no food there. Well, the food was scarce, but the fashions were way, way better. Tattletales, I'm hoping somebody can sneak a picture so we can actually see. But I'm not going to get too many spoilers, even though this whole show, this whole a video was a spoiler. But I will say, y'all, Sheree has come full circle. Now, if I will play devil's advocate for just a tiny, tiny, tiny little second, right? This can either be her storyline for next season, her getting she by Sheree up and running. And I would be there for that. I actually do want to see Sheree as a businesswoman. Sheree is naturally funny to me as a businesswoman. See by Sheree up and running. I want to see Kenya Moore here, Karen, how she's a boss media babe, mogul babe. I want to see that. You know, Candy, I know. I wonder what Candy got going on for this season because you know Candy going to blow them all out the water. I mean, they're all doing big things, but you know Candy stay with the big bag. I wonder what the reveal is. Hmm. Okay. Drew got that thing. I'm trying to watch it on Lifetime. Go on and support Juice the Door. She is a black woman trying to do her thing. I'm trying to watch this on Lifetime. Did you see how, oh, did you see how happy Drew was to be sitting next to Candy? Everybody that was texting me was saying that Drew was acting like she ain't know how to act. She's finally in with the cool kids, right? Marlo, needling a Porsche a little bit, but did you see how everybody was happy, fun, getting along? Moneta was there with her husband looking gorgeous and res- resplendent. Sonya was there. I actually like Sonya and her sequins. I see she's into sequins, and I never like sequins, but I like sequins on her. It matches her personality. I haven't even met her personality yet, but it just seems like it's her. Moneta was there looking drop dead gorgeous. Y'all, and you know what I can say? The producers swear, that's why they've been keeping a tight lock on everything, that this is going to be a breakthrough season, and they finally got that magic back. And I just want to say, unfortunately, Cynthia's gone. I will miss Cynthia. But the other person, right? The the As we know, the Mrs. Nobodya, right? The Mrs. Nobodya. You know, you married into his... Uh, <laughs> You mar- you're going to marry into the irrelevance. Double down, baby. Double down with your homie lover friend, Mr. Nabadia. Maybe I would say that she could help him make up some more fake files, but I don't know. After portion in the Underground Railroad in 265 days a year, I don't know. Maybe she will be proofreading. Couldn't be any worse, right? But anyway, I will say the one thing that producers and everyone else has been saying is through the ups and downs and all the fights, and there were a lot of skirmishes. And one feud that's going to carry on to next season, but in a, in a good way. There's not that bitter evilness and hate. There's not that toxicity. Again, everybody could blame whoever they wanted on Real Housewives in Atlanta. 
But when Mrs. Nobody got a spinoff, that toxicity, that hate, that evilness, and that violence went with her with the show. I think we found our dark cloud. I think the dark cloud has been cast away. And it looks like this season, even though there is a lot of ups and downs and a lot of drama, all my sources are telling me this is going to be a good season. Yo, Tattletales, you know I'm reviewing this. We're going live. And then the next day, we're going to have call-ins so y'all can vent what you said. Real Housewives of Atlanta is back baby anyway let me know what you think in the comments are you happy for Sheree are you rooting for her yo it's it's nice to see things come full circle I hope this is not Sheree's last season not just because she really redeemed herself and she came for a sucral and she now officially has a storyline that she can take in the next season that doesn't revolve around a man or a house or her making a fool of herself. She can actually show herself in a new light. And that's what I want. Let's just hope. Because you know sometimes when you get a happy ending, producers send you on your way. Just like uh, Cynthia. But. Oh, I got some news on Cynthia. You know what? That's for a different video. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to you later.